everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've got for you today an Aldi food haul. I just popped there after the school run and this week came to £63 which is within our range I think for shopping. £10 of that was actually a present for my daughter as well. It's really only sort of £53. Having said that I will be completely transparent and say that I did pop to the shop on Tuesday. I think that was Sainsbury's which is always a mistake and I spent £20 there as well on like potatoes broccoli we seem to be getting through broccoli um other little bits and pieces as well like some meatballs um i can't remember off the top of my head so putting it together i'd say that our weekly shop this week is actually 83 pounds but again if i take the 10 pounds off that i'll get back from someone it was a 73 pound shop this week felt like i've done too badly plenty of meals plenty of snacks but yeah i will show you what i've got so i've laid it all out here and I will just run through so I'll start down here I've just got these to pop away until like nearer Christmas I guess because they are maple glazed gammon crinkle cut crisps and obviously they'll be nice sort of more seasonal they'll be nice nearer Christmas having said that I didn't check the date on them um oh yeah April next year so yeah I might put those away for a bit and then I got these little mini chocolate bars I've said before the kids just like have a little bit of these every now and then they're handy just to put in my handbag to be honest um if we're going out for like longer days or walks where you need to kind of bribe them around but yeah they were I think like 80 pence or something and there's five individually wrapped ones I picked up some eyeball chocolates because last year I did like a platter like a halloween platter with like picky sweets and sweet treats and stuff on and it looks like we are doing like a halloween gathering this year with cousins and things so i've just got those to pop away in a halloween bag and i'll dig them out nearer the time uh, some ot's and some custard cream just for the cupboard and then i saw these these are my husband's weakness like anything kind of what do you call it like spiced i guess christmas spiced he really likes these and he'll probably get through like half a dozen packs of these between now and christmas if i'm honest uh, i don't like them so it's probably the one sweet treat that can sit in our house and i'm not that bothered about i mean i would have one a push but i'm not bothered so they're all his uh, some croissants sorry you can see all the rain it's absolutely pouting down out there it's kind of speckled it all um yeah we've got a long weekend this weekend because in the uk where we are this weekend is like running into the school half term so my husband has taken off an extra day it's just a little bit extra special that they've got daddy home for breakfast for like three days so i've got those as well and then I picked up a fruit loaf as well for the weekend. It's something I never remember getting. But it's actually really yummy. So got those. Uh, these looked really nice. We had a different brand of these that look really, really similar. Just some like picky bits to go with a drink in the evening. And I thought I would try these Thai style ones. We both like those. So yeah, just a little handful of those. And then some Halloween sprinkles. I picked up some like dark purple frosting. I can't remember where that was from. I want to say Home Bargains or somewhere. I can't remember. Uh, maybe B&M. But yeah, I thought that they would complement the purple icing really well. And we can make Halloween cupcakes in half term. And then I've got some ghost crumpets. I'm just going to freeze these, I think, unless the date's okay on them. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, 25th of October. So I will freeze these and we'll have them near our Halloween some vegetable stock pots. I better go up here actually because I'm going to forget. Some British free range eggs. And then over here I've got the Singapore noodles, like their own version. But then on offer they had these katsu curry ones, like the naked noodle. So I've got those for my husband to put in the cupboard for lunch. Mushy peas, two baked beans, two hot dogs, chopped tomatoes, a sweet and sour because we just can't make it. It just doesn't taste right when we try and do our own chicken gravy. Over the back there, this is exactly what I mean about things I wouldn't really pick up, but I just thought they were cute. Um, they're Halloween house, like a haunted house tissue box. So I'm going to go and put that in the lounge because we did actually need tissues. Everyone's sniffly and yeah, that's it. That's the sort of thing I get sucked into. This is what I'm going to pop away for someone else to give my daughter or we might give it. I'm not sure. She absolutely loves my mum and dad's little wooden birthday cake. And I saw this one. They also had like a wooden chocolate one with like multicolored candles and also number, like 
you know, like the wax numbers you can get. So the wooden version of those, but they did only go up to five and she is over four now. Um, so I got her this one. I mean, gosh, she love it. She loves anything pink, purple and sparkly. It was, I think, nine... 95 9.99 something like that and yeah we tend to do a lot of the buying for our kids christmas things and then we kind of dish them out to family because that's just what they prefer doing i actually quite like buying christmas presents so i'd much rather go choose something for someone but anyway lots of aunties and uncles just prefer to just for us to do the buying and they just pay for it and wrap it up so anyway that's what it is i'm going to pop that away at a push if i don't need it for some reason although it's a three plus she will love this for her birthday she just likes imaginative play and stuff so yeah that is what i got and then milk some pasta and some bubble bath i mean i don't tend to get kind of what i would describe as kind of baby and toddler bubble bath because i had a little sniff and it smells so nice and i think yeah I wouldn't mind my kids smelling like that, so I picked it up. But they didn't really have a lot else anyway, so they'd be fine. And then I got this. Again, wouldn't have got it if I'd gone to Tesco, but it's a Red Leicester cheese bake, and we've got crusty bread. Really, really long date. We are obviously use this on our Halloween little party table. And I wasn't going to get it, but let me just show you. I'll just put you down for a second. It's like a little black cauldron. Can you see? And I just think that'll look really good every year. I'm just going to wash it out when we've used this and put it in our Halloween box. It's all wrapped at the moment, but yeah, once we've used it, I'll just wash it out. And that could come out every year for like dips or olives or something like that. So that's why I got that. That was 2 99 So I would say that that for us is a bit of a luxury. But the fact that it's a cauldron is the reason I got it. So we can use it. Some battered cod and a really basic pizza. I always like one of these in the freezer just in case. It's just those just in case nights where things change or like we're at the park for longer or they're not very well and they just prefer like a really simple kiddie tea. That's why I get these kind of things. Um, I will just pimp that up with whatever else they fancy like ham, sweet corn, a bit more cheese, stuff like that. So got those. Never had these. They're called waffle fries. Um, and I just thought, yeah. I'm going to give those a bash for when they do have like a beans dinner, as we call it in our house. You know, like a kiddie meal once a week. And normally on a Friday, to be honest. So we've got those for a change. Some berry yogurts. They're only 85p for six. And then I think these were about the same for chocolate mousse. Six of those. Yeah, my son really likes these. Two wipes and some toilet roll. This toilet roll was only 1.99, and I am absolutely fed up of paying like four pound for nine toilet rolls. Our kids are of the age where they use what feels like half a toilet roll every time they go to the loo. Um, and I'm so fed up just wasting money on toilet roll. I'm gonna give this a try and see what it's like. I think I said wipes. We've got garlic Kievs and goujons. And then one of those chicken breasts that you just do in the oven for like 45, 50 minutes. And we're actually gonna have that tonight. I'm gonna do like a midweek roast, which I don't normally do. But I thought if I can prepare the potatoes, like peel them, chop them and bring them to the boil, ruffle them up and let them to like dry out. If this only takes like 50 minutes, it's quite easy to do a roast in an hour, I think. So I'm going to do that today. Some fish fingers and then I've got pork sausages, but also chipolatas because if we're having a breakfast or anything, we prefer those. Broccoli, cucumber, strawberries. I'm clinging on to the strawberries, even though they just... They don't taste as nice, but the kids really like them as well. And finally, the biggest pack of crisps I've seen for ages, and it's got like loads of different flavours. And that is everything. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So I've got a kind of rough meal plan this week. I'm not really going to run through it as such. I mean, it's a weird week because I've done the shop on a Thursday when I normally do it on a Tuesday, so I'm a little bit out of sorts. We've just had a real like usey up week this week and raided the freezer. But we will have things like spaghetti bolognese because I've got a mince in the freezer. We will also have roast dinner tonight. Uh, we do like maybe a breakfast one of the days, but as a dinner because I think they like that. And we've got the chipolatas. I've already got bacon, eggs, beans, those little funny waffly things I got, um, toast, whatever else we can chuck on there. And I'm going to just play it by ear now until early next week. 
I just think when we've got half term coming up and we've got this long weekend, it just throws me a little bit and I'm not entirely sure what exactly we're doing. We may go out for dinner one of the days if we're with anyone else, but yeah, I'm going to play it by ear this week. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.